If Mr. Stitney and Hagar would join me. Who was Hagar? with her. You went with her, Jay. Hi, Parker. We have a number of things we want to go through this morning, uh, starting with the appointment of a new director for the mayor's office for people with disabilities. Uh, this is a an office that provides a vital service to a number of our citizens, but it's also an office that is designed to advocate on behalf of our citizens within city government. We, of course, want to meet every uh, federal standard in terms of how we interact with those of our citizens who have disabilities, but we also want to make sure that we exceed that standard and uh, provide a city that, to the best of our ability, is a place where people of all different abilities have an opportunity to be successful. In fact, this year, the uh, city of Houston is celebrating the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities' uh, 21st year of service. Uh, we collaborate with local agencies, we work with uh, an advisory committee, we offer opportunities for civic engagement, such as through our parking enforcement training program, which empowers volunteers, and anybody who might be listening wants to volunteer for this, but it empowers volunteers to uh, write tickets for those who illegally park in spaces reserved for uh, the disabled. Uh, we highlight uh, the achievements of those with disabilities. The department has been without a, a permanent director for some months, and uh, there was some sentiment to just hire somebody, hire somebody, hire somebody. But uh, again, as with all of my department directors and the uh, special advisors, we believe that City of Houston deserve deserves the best, and uh, we did do a national search. Uh, today I want to formally welcome our newly named manager of the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities, Jay Steitling. We're very excited about the talents and vast experience he brings to the Department of Neighborhoods. Uh, spanning from 1978 to the, to the present, uh, his accomplishments are impressive. He's been a uh, rehabilitation teacher for the blind and visually impaired. He's taught uh, assistive technology and established computer access centers for the Veterans Administration in Palo Alto, California, and for Crisis Coal Center in Austin, Texas. He spent 12 years traveling extensively throughout the U.S. and Canada as a field representative with the Seeing Eye, with seeing, the Seeing Eye Incorporated, based in Houston and Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, he served as director of the National Technology Program for the American Foundation for the Blind in Chicago, Illinois. He was dean of students at the Tennessee School for the Blind in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, most recently, Jay served as director of the World Services for the Blind in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm very confident uh, that Mr. Steidley will provide a moped, as we call it, the strong leadership required to make new inroads to serve people with disabilities. Um, while he hails originally from Illinois and has lived in numerous cities. Uh, he has been in Houston before, so we consider him a returning uh, Houstonian. I salute Katie Tipton, the Director of the Department of Neighborhoods, for the work she did to find the, the right person for the job. And I want to introduce uh, Jay Stitley. Jay, it's about three feet to your right, two feet forward. 